You probably have been in this situation quite a lot, where nobody from your team wants to play the Roma role. So whenever I'm forced to fill that role, I tend to pick Franco, because he's just extremely fun to play. Hooking somebody is probably one of the most satisfying things you can do in the game. That's why I used to play Poch Wars a lot back in the days. Anyway, as per usual, I like to start the game by trying to delay the opponent's jungler's buff. But nowadays, almost everybody who knows the basics of the game already knows about this tactic, so more often than not, this usually fails. But if there's a small chance that the jungler is soloing the buff, I should go for it. Unfortunately, they knew about my plan. By the way, if I'm not mistaken, I think in one of the recent updates, they increased Thamel's first skills range. This seems like a nice improvement. I was actually quite surprised that the jungler made this unusual rotation, but I guess in this case it paid off. But if I was the jungler and I saw the opponent's jungler rotating like this, I would 100% go for his red buff. That would put him at a social disadvantage even after getting those kills. Time to teach you guys a lesson! Probably the fight will have gone much smoother if we didn't attack the jungle monster first, but it is what it is. We still got a better outcome from this fight. Looking at the rotation, I thought there was a good chance they will be rotating towards the top lane next. I was pinging to alert my teammates that we should set an ambush here. Unfortunately, nobody listened. I tried to help out our marksmen as much as I could, but after understanding what I was dealing with, I had to change my approach completely. I will let my teammate know that my oil is still on cooldown. I was hoping he will understand what that means and play a bit more passively until it was available. Thamos is feeling himself, but he has absolutely no idea what is waiting for him. Our Dyroth actually seems like a decent player. He did exactly what I was hoping he will do, just chill until I get my ult. A pretty good trade, our jungler got a double kill, and most importantly, he shot down the opponent's jungler. Also, that means we should have a free total. We might actually have a bigger problem in our hands.
This white Franco is one of the most annoying tanks to play against. Take a guess where Esther is most likely hiding. I probably killed Amon with that hook, but to be fair, there was almost no chance he was gonna make it out alive anyway. I wanted to have fun with Thamos again, so I decided to just wait here. I think he was too busy typing something like, leave my nuts alone Franco. Not gonna lie, after seeing him saying that, for some reason I just wanted to keep doing that even more. I know, my mind's kinda messed up. Famo seems to be satisfied with his service. There's no stopping now. I think he misspelled man here. He's supposed to be H Y U N G. You know what they say sometimes no means yes. Wait, that's messed up. I know he will most likely dash after seeing me, so I'm gonna be one step ahead and anticipate that. Oof, that was so close. I think all Thamus deaths came from me. Their mage really just traded her life for the tank. What a brave soul. Thamos is in the bottom lane. There's only one thing to do. It seems like Dyrov and I are definitely on the same page. His first skill can interrupt Franco's old. That's interesting.
You see, I'm not lying. He actually ends up calling me Hyung. Okay, now I'm starting to feel bad for him. I will start refraining myself. And only go for him 90% of the game. Look who is in the bottom lane again. But like I said, this is the 10% of the time I will not go for him. Alright, here yeah, enough fun already. It's time to play with my best friend again. I can't believe he rejected my friendship. Big boy is angry. Big Boy is super angry. Team keeps getting caught in Sicilian second skill. Famous want to play more. He actually came back. Esther has purified. Sad face. Eudora has been one-shotting our main damage dealers, so it's not a bad idea to go for her first. I got a bit too reckless here, but at least I made them use a couple of their ults on me. Usually, I have the most fun when I get many kills, but this one of those cases where I only got one kill and I still had a lot of fun. Also, I wasn't expecting to get a little brother in this match. 
Anyway, this game is pretty much over. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget. See ya. Thank you.